Well, as you can see from my wet hair, I just got out of the shower. And in a couple of minutes, I'm going to pack up all the stuff that I have here and get in the car and get ready to go to Santa Barbara. Uh, this is how I pack. Yesterday, what I did was I loaded my brand new camera bag with the digital camera and the video camera. I got all the tapes in there. I got all the discs in there. Uh, I made sure that I, that I have, have, did everything like that. I gathered together all the cords for my computer, my um, cell phone, my digital camera, my video camera. I got an extra battery for the digit for the video camera. Took the cell phone and I entered into the cell phone all of the contact numbers that I'm going to need. I spent a lot of time on the internet and I downloaded a lot of pages about hotels and attractions. I ordered tickets and all that sort of stuff. I got Lizzie off to a dog sitter and that's what I did yesterday. That's what I spent the entire day doing yesterday. Somebody said, what are you wearing to the wedding? Well, I didn't think about that until this morning. So this morning I actually got clothes together and got those packed. I still have to get shoes and then I'm going to go into the car, pack it all into the car, and I'm driving by myself. So we'll head on down I-5. I'll stop a couple of places on I-5 to take pictures so you get a lay of the land because that's the most boring freeway ever except possibly across Texas. And uh, we'll just see how this goes. Lovely. So, uh, whatever you call these things. Looked like it might be an interesting place to take a picture of. And I got some gas because I was almost out of gas. But I've discovered this is truck stop heaven. And to get back on the freeway, there is a line of trucks that is unbelievable. I'm behind a long line. And there's another long line over there. And I'm not going to be able to take a picture because I would have to be driving. But trust me, it's unbelievable. I'm at a rest stop now. And um, it's actually more barren than it looks in this shot. But the reason I'm taking it is I wanted to show you this. This is the California aqueduct that takes water from the mountains in the Sierra Nevada mountains and takes it all the way to Los Angeles. A lot of controversy about this aqueduct, but I'll be following it down the whole way. Sometimes it's visible, sometimes it's not. Now I'm going to go visit the restroom and the vending machines. There's a better shot of the aqueduct. And it's surrounded by brown hills. <coughs> That's the, the road I came down is off in that direction. That's the road I'm going down. The terrain is going to look like that for about 100 miles or so. It's going to be very boring. And surprisingly, the traffic today is very heavy. Usually you can go about 80 to 85 miles an hour along this road. Today I'm being lucky to hit 65. This is a restaurant known as Pea Soup Anderson's. Famous for, guess what? Pea soup. I'm not going to stop here today though. I'm in too much of a hurry. It's impossible to get the scale of this thing. This is the Harris Ranch. It's a feedlot. As far as you can see for many, many miles, there's nothing but cows getting ready for slaughter. The smell is overpowering. I've turned off the main road, I-5, and I'm now headed over to the coast road, 101. And at the coast road, there's this little um, monument to James Dean, whose accident occurred near here. This um, shop over here, which is called Jack's Ranch Cafe, used to be the James Dean Museum. I never went in it, and the signs for James Dean have disappeared. But from here, it's about another half hour over to the coast, and then down to Santa Barbara. And you can see what the traffic is going to be like. I am so sleepy, I'm trying to... I'm in a long back up here. Way up ahead. I don't know how far, because I can't see the end. There's a stoplight before you get to Highway 101. This may take a while. This is Cuesta Grade, a very long, very steep hill that goes into San Luis Obispo. And right now, it seems to be backed up almost to the top. I have never seen so much traffic on, on the way to Santa Barbara. This is just ridiculous. 
Oh, now I see why. Oh dear. And at Pismo Beach. And I'm going to go inland again in a little bit to go to Santa Barbara. But it's beautiful here. I've actually passed one other accident after that one on Quest of Grave. And I decided it was nice to take a stop because I'm also falling asleep. So now let me get back in the car, find the freeway up there, and can we finish the last leg of the trip? Well, I'm in my room in Santa Barbara, and I'm trying to decide if I'm going to be able to go to sleep or not, because this is a bed. It's not a couch. But it was a long day, and I'm really tired, and I think I can probably fit in at least a couple of hours. So this is the end of the story of my trip to Santa Barbara, and tomorrow you're going to see a bathroom you won't believe.